When we go to a school, we bring a Palestinian speaker and an Israeli speaker from the region. The speakers will tell their personal stories, introduce themselves, talk about their experiences growing up, what it means to them to be Israeli, to be Palestinian. The main point of dialogue and the strongest thing that can come out of it is that empathy. It's that understanding the other side. But there's no pressure to agree. This is the difference between dialogue and debate. If you're having a debate, you're trying to win over the other person or win over the audience who's watching the debate. You're right and the other person's argument is, is, is wrong or is less valid. The outcome that you're trying to get from that is to move on to another conversation from that dialogue about how we can improve the situation for the people involved. And you can then start to be more constructive and creative in your solutions because you actually know what the other side needs. You understand where the other side is coming from. Used in the right way and channeled in the right way, the ability to empathise can be a really powerful positive force. If you can really empathise and use that as a skill and a tool, you're more likely to get what you need and want by being able to interact and to understand the other and to change the whole situation through that understanding. And yeah, that's what, something that people shouldn't miss. They should value empathy. It's easy to be tribal, it's easy to say good guys and bad guys. It's hard to face these differences, to try to work out a, a middle ground. I call it the radical middle. <laughs>